Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fun tag video. It's called 5 Forever Luxury Bags and 5 Bags to Sacrifice. I was tagged by Lou and I'm super excited about this video. But before I get into that, if you're new here, my name is Aika. I post a lot of fashion related videos, shopping vlogs, reviews and unboxing. So if you're interested in any of these topics, then I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button down below and also turn on the bell to be notified every time I post something new. You. And you can also follow me on Instagram, it's at Bonjour Aika, I post there daily, all of my outfits, my eye candies, my daily life, and you can also send me a DM, I would love to have a chat with you. And now let's get right into the video. Usually in these types of videos, the most terrifying part is to choose the bags that you would sacrifice, the bags that you would sell. In my case, it was actually the opposite, it was so easy to choose those bags, but it was so hard to come up with the ones. I would keep forever and I know it sounds funny looking back at my older videos I was so opposite to what I am right now and this is probably all due to the pandemic and the lockdowns and everything that's been just going on. I spent most of last year and even this year at home not going anywhere and therefore not really using my bags and it gave me a lot of time to think and reconsider my entire collection and I realized that I'm just not happy with it anymore. And now I want to sell the majority of my bags and get myself new ones as a fresh start. I want to get something that would make me excited again. I want to get the bags that I would actually love and use every single day because right now it's really not the case with all of my bags that I have, pretty much all of them. So I'm talking for way too long. Let's start with the ones that I would keep forever. It was very hard to choose, but number one is my Hermes Constance bag. It's no surprise to you guys because I've been obsessed with this bag for such a long time and I was dreaming of owning it one day and I finally managed to get it. It was last year in March before lockdown was it? I think yes, last year in March, so it's not even a full year just yet and I really love it, everything about this bag. I'm just not sure if this this one will actually be the one I would keep forever but I mean the style yes of course for sure I love it but I'm not really sure about the color and I know I must like rave about this bag right now but as I just told you everything has changed and although this color is beautiful and very classic in my opinion and it would go with absolutely everything I want to use this bag as my everyday bag and having it in red color is very difficult because I don't want to call it tacky but it really catches your attention and I don't want to look snobbish or braggish so I really think that I should get something more muted not black I don't really like the way it looks in black to be honest but I was thinking of something maybe blue or gold or gray or something in that color range so we'll see about that for now I'm pretty happy with this red color it's rouge cassac it's gorgeous if you're thinking of an Hermes bag I know Kelly and Birkins are like the obvious choice but you should actually consider this one as well because it's quite a fabulous bag the next handbag on my forever list is it's gonna be a surprise but it's my watch up actually and the reason why I decided to go for it is because I love the Louis Vuitton monogram and I love Louis Vuitton as a brand and I think you always need at least one bag in the monogram but my favorite is giant monogram and another favorite is the reverse monogram and this bag ticks all boxes this is a very classic canvas color of Louis Vuitton but it's in giant monogram and reverse I think it's a stunning bag it has this very classic shape so they also have this hard version this is the supple version I prefer it this way than the harder one it's more flexible it fits a lot of things inside and I know I am still scared of the vachette but I think long term it's not a problem because I still love this bag to bits and I'm pretty sure this bag will stick around for a very long time in my collection the next bag on my list is another favorite one and it's my Chanel 19 bag in goat skin and gray color mixed hardware oh my god I love this bag so much if you know me you know I'm not a classic flap girl I don't own a single classic flap I honestly find them a little bit boring but it obviously depends on the color you go for if I were to 
to go for a classic flap it would probably be something bright and something that not a lot of people have or see so by far my favorite style of chanel bags is the 19 bag everything about it how edgy it looks it is so smooshy it is very soft it's pretty lightweight the chain yes it is a little bit on a heavier side but it's manageable and yeah i just i just really love everything about it i also love the giant quilting and i have this thing going on where i prefer large monogram or large uh, quilting in this case i think it's just something more modern and fresh and it's something newer so i'm very attracted to it so i truly think this is also one of those bags that i would love to keep in my collection for as long as i can the next forever bag is this little cutie it's my chanel mini square flap this is as close as i can get to a classic flap and i believe it was featured in my very first first luxury unboxing video here on my channel the very first video ever and that's why i have the sentimental attachment to this bag it's perfect in every single way it takes all the boxes for me it fits a ton inside although it is pretty small it is super lightweight it's very understated in my opinion even the cc lock i mean it's not really out there in your face and it's with champagne gold hardware and a lamb skin it is super luxurious very shiny as you can see and it's just so perfect i love wearing it in summer whenever we go traveling on holidays i always bring this bag with me and i just never ever ever get tired of this bag and nothing literally nothing can replace it because it's that good so if you're just starting your chanel handbag collection and you're not sure about which bag you should go for i think this is the perfect one to go for and as for the last bag it was a 50 50 split with my trendy cc from chanel but i still decided to go for this one because in trendy there is one major flaw and it's the color <laughs> but instead i've decided to go with your bobby bag it's a pretty recent addition to my bag collection and maybe that's why i'm still like super excited about it but honestly this bag is amazing in large size it's like the best messenger bag ever it comes with a guitar strap which is beautiful if you want to buy this kind of strap separately it's like a thousand usd which is crazy but here in this case it just comes for free together with the bag and the price of the bag is pretty good it's like relatively good considering the fact that you're getting both the bag and the strap i think it's a good deal 3.5k i believe it was and i really love the color of this bag the leather of this bag it is so soft but pretty durable at the same time i love the giant pocket at the back it fits my phone and inside the bag is humongous as well it, it can fit a bottle of water um, and it's just the perfect perfect bag for everyday use it's perfect to run errands it's perfect for so many things as a work bag and i would highly recommend if you're thinking of getting a bobby bag just do it go for it because it's an incredible bag everything about it is really luxurious everything is of high quality everything is well done it has the magnetic closure the suede leather inside so honestly i'm just obsessed with it and i would love to keep it in my collection forever because it's truly a keeper and now let's move on to the sacrifice part the bags i would ditch i would sell let's start with this one so this is my gucci dionysus bag with the cat and a lot of different patches with crystals i was obsessed with this handbag because i thought it was so beautiful especially in this style it's a big size it has this bright blue color which is my favorite blue Blue pocket at the back in sweat and i love this patches i also have a cat that's why i thought it was super cute having a cat here a star and a moon i love everything sky related and the butterflies it's just so girly so much fun so cute but it is a little bit heavy it's a little bit too big for what i like and usually go for i prefer smaller bags and i think this is the only flaw this bag has and uh, unfortunately i don't reach for it at all every time i want to wear it at the end i just decide to go for something else and it's such a shame because it's a gorgeous bag it's really really gorgeous and i still think the dionysus style is really beautiful and in my opinion it's sort of a classic from gucci it's something that i won't get tired of seeing unlike let's say marmont style it kind of upsets me saying this but i have to finally admit that 
this bag just doesn't get any use at all. The next bag I would sacrifice is my Fendi backpack in red color with gold hardware. This backpack is gorgeous. It is super cool. I love backpacks. I love the idea of backpacks, but I hate seeing backpacks on me and I find them a little bit uncomfortable to use because it's at the back and whenever you want to get something, you have to take it off. That's the main reason I am selling this backpack. If you're interested, send me a message, a DM, whatever you want. And if it were a bag, I would happily wear it. But since it's a backpack and I just realized backpacks aren't my thing really, I am really considering letting it go. The next bag is this Fendi color block handbag. This is an older style and I've had this bag for ages now. It has three colors, the blue, white and yellow on the sides. I think it's a very beautiful bag and it fits a lot of things. I remember I was still at school when I had it and then I started uni with this bag and I was obsessed with it. I mean, I wore it so much. It also comes with this adjustable strap, but it's been so many years now and I think right now it's time to let it go. Beautiful bag but I've just outgrown it and this is pretty much the only reason I want to part ways with it and it's something that I would for sure sacrifice without even blinking my eyes. <laughs> the next bag is going to be a shocker for a lot of you because I've been raving about this handbag for such a long time and I really loved it for so long. I was obsessed with it but it's my me tease. I know it's really sad. I love this bag so much. I think it's so beautiful but at the same time I'm a little bit tired of it honestly. I'm not gonna lie it doesn't excite me anymore. It doesn't bring me any joy anymore and every time I want to wear it I change my mind the very last minute right at the doors. I'm like oh no I don't want to take it today. I'm gonna switch to something else like my bobby. So I think it means that it's time to just let it go and there are a few people who are interested. If you guys are interested, you can also send me a DM on my Instagram. I think it's easier than sending an email, but it's really up to you. You can send me an email, whatever you want. Another reason why I'm like 100% sure I want to sell it is because I'm really interested in the Dauphine bag and it's also reverse monogram. It's a very similar style. So I really won't be needing two very similar bags in my collection and I think it's time. We had good times together, amazing memories, but I have a lot of photos of this bag, so it's okay. And the last bag on this list is another shocker for you guys because it's a pretty fresh bag to my collection and I was also obsessed with it and raving about it. This bag made it to my favorite bags list. Unfortunately, it's not the case anymore and it's my 30 Montaigne. I know. I really wanted to keep this bag and then suddenly I received a message from this girl and she was really interested and she asked me if I would consider selling this bag. And I never even thought about selling this bag and letting it go and then I've just realized that I never really use it anymore. It's really sad because it's a gorgeous bag. It could be the color because I don't really have anything in this colors but later on I bought a matching pair of shoes for this bag and I thought those shoes would make me use this bag more often but they didn't. So this is it for my today's video. What do you guys think of my choices? Am I right of keeping this ones and then selling those ones? I know it's just a tag video, but I'm actually considering selling all of those back that I just showed you. Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.